Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to go over how to install Pokemon Infinite Fusion on your Steam Deck. With the game files that I provide, it will have the full up-to-date game with every single sprite in the game. I will also go over how to update your game in the future, update sprites in the future, and where your save file is in case you're transferring over to Steam Deck. So in my description, I'll have two links there. Both take you to the same zip file. You don't need to install both, just pick one. It's your preference whether you like using Mediafire or if you like using Google Drive to install your games, whichever works. But go ahead and click download. And now if you click on folder here on the bottom left and hit downloads, you will get your RAR file that you just downloaded. Right click this, go to extract, select extract archive here, and it will give you this infinite fusion folder. Go ahead and move this folder to your desktop. Next, we will open the Discover Store. On the top left, let's go ahead and type in Q4 Wine. This is what we're going to use to update the game later in the future. Click Install. It says Remove here for me because I already have it installed. The second thing you need to download is Proton. Proton up QT. Go ahead and same thing, install this. Except after this is installed, go ahead and click on this and you'll see the launch button here in the top right and click on it. You can now close Discover. From here, click Add Version. It will populate with the latest version and hit Install. You'll get a progress bar here on the bottom and once it's at 100%, it'll add it to your table here and you'll have Proton installed. Let's go ahead and close that out. Now let's open up Infinite Fusion and select which game you want to use. If you like playing the game with the up-to-date sprites as they come out, go ahead and select game.exe. This does require an internet connection though. If you want to play offline and just use whatever sprites are available right now up to date, use game-preloaded. But just a warning, not every single sprite is available yet. They're still working on it, they're still drawing them out. So at least with game.exe you'll get the latest version, but you can't play offline. So let's go ahead and click game.exe and hit add to Steam. Let's close this and let's open up Steam now. Right click Steam, go to library, and here you'll see game.exe. Let's go ahead and make some changes. I'll also show you where to import any artwork that you have for the game. So click on manage, click on properties, and from here, let's rename it. Now, if you want to change the icon of the game, click on this and put in an icon. If you want to change the background of this tile, right click, hit the background. Now let's hit play. It won't work, but this is just to show you where the last piece of artwork is. Once you click on library, click home, scroll down and you'll see this tile. Right click this, hit manage, set custom artwork, and you can put a background. I got all of these images from steamgrid.db. You can use any source that you want to get the game files uh, for the artwork. Uh, just get, make sure to get a vertical and a horizontal one, one for the background and one for icons. All right, but that's everything we need to set up for your game. So now let's go to gaming mode. Now that we're in desktop mode, let's go ahead and set up Proton. So hit A on Pokemon Infinite Fusion, click the settings button here, and let's go down to properties. Hit down or go to compatibility and hit A, and that'll set up Proton. So let's click B and go back to the screen and hit A to play the game. Because I uploaded game.exe, it will have a faster startup time than game preloaded. Preloaded preloads all the sprites at the beginning of the game, so it does have a longer startup. Now that we are here on the intro screen, go ahead and hit B. And you'll get to the title screen of the game. Go ahead and hit B again. And you will get a, a black screen here. Now, this just depends on your Steam Deck. This will take about 5 to 10 minutes of black screen just to process through all of the single sprites that I provided in the game. There are 300,000 sprites, so this might take some time. So just literally leave it here on its own, and you will see a pop-up saying that the controllers were configured. So just wait here. Don't worry. This does take some time, so just be patient. At waiting about 5 to 10 minutes, you will see this on the screen. Go ahead and tap on your screen because pressing A or B doesn't work. Tap OK on your screen. Now you'll get into the game. What we want to do is we want to just get straight into the game to be able to get to a save file. 
So go ahead and just type in literally whatever for a name. There we go. You can press the left bumper for an extra speed up. But all of this is just so we can get a save file. So it doesn't matter what you're doing here. I just want to get a save file. You can change your game later. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and save. I'm going to save to a different slot just so it's easier to find. I'm going to hit uh, file B. I'm going to hit the Steam button and I'm going to quit the game. And now I'm going to go back to desktop mod just so I can show you the rest of the setup of finding out where your save file is. Now that we're in gaming mode, let's go ahead and find your save file. So click on the folder here, click on the options, and make sure that this option is enabled. Next, we're going to scroll down here to the left and hit home, then hit deck, then hit dot local, then share. Now scroll down to Steam. Then we are going to go down to Steam Apps and Compact Data. From here, we're going to go ahead and click the magnifying glass and type in file B because that is what save slot we chose for our game. And here you will see that there is a file B. You can verify if this is the right one if you click on properties and you'll see it is the same one from that was created today. So let me go ahead and right click this and hit open a new window. And here is where your game is stored. You will see I have two save files, A and B, because I think in the very beginning you, you could have saved the game a little bit earlier rather than going all the way to the player's room. So I have A and B, which is not a problem. Um, but what I like to do is creating a shortcut for this in case you want to get back to it. So click on roaming up here. Then when you're with your infinite fusion folder, go ahead and drag that right here. And now you'll have a shortcut. So wherever you are, you can click on the infinite fusion folder and get back to it. I can go ahead and just delete these files now because I don't need them. Or if I want to try and set up a different configurations for the game, I can go ahead and do that. You don't have to delete them. I just did it because I'm not going to use those. The next thing I want to show is how to update Pokemon infinite fusion when there is a new update. So go ahead and open up the game folder from your desktop. Next, you will see install or update. Right click this, hit open with, go to other application, go to system, and then go to Q4 wine. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And this will open up a command prompt and it will start installing the game again. Now don't worry, this doesn't override anything important like the sprites. It's just basically pulling the latest from the repo and just making sure your, your game files are up to date. So because you're running this for the first time, it'll just basically get fresh files for you, which isn't a problem at all. This will just depend on your internet speed. So give it some time and it'll finish. Now that it's finished installing, you will see here that it updated all the files at 100% and it's done and it will get this message here at the bottom. So this looks good. Now the last thing I want to show you is how to update sprites. So go to the Pokemon Infinite Fusion downloads channel and they will have the latest version of the sprites. My game files already have the up-to-date sprites whenever you download them. So you never have to worry about them when you first download this. In the future though, say now it is the next month, they're gonna have an, a November pack. So what you need to do is you need to install the smaller version of this and go ahead and click on continue to download. And when you go to your downloads folder, you will have the sprite pack. Go ahead and right click it, extract, extract here, and you'll get the sprite pack. It'll be a 96 or something like that. Then you'll see custom battlers. So go ahead and right click this, hit copy. Now let's go back to your folder here on the desktop. Go to graphics. And then in this folder in graphics, right click and hit paste. You will then sit select apply all and write in two. Don't go into the custom battler folder, just go straight into graphics and paste it in here. And that is it. That's how you update sprites.
All right, well, that's pretty much it for everything, guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I am also on the tech support channel, Discord. And also, please subscribe. I am trying to hit my 1K goal, so that would definitely help me out. But if you have any questions, let me know. I'll help you out with anything, and I'll see you in the next one.